what it do YouTube and I'm back with another class build video this time we're gonna be looking at my Saiyan warrior uh, class build this class build is all about being able to control your opponent from a distance and also being able to close in on him and uh, do a lot of damage with melee as well so I guess fairly balanced so let's jump right into the attributes uh, so we got 50 max health uh, this is almost a necessity in all builds, I guess. Uh, max key 32. Uh, just because the fact that you're running uh, Super Vegeta in this, Super Vegeta 2 in fact, um, you're gonna need that extra key. Max stamina 15, you don't really have to worry about stamina, uh, knowing that you're running Super Drain. Basic attacks 45, so this helps you close in on your enemy. And then key blast super is 95. Alright, we'll go into my equipment before we check our skills. So here, I'll, I need to explain this. So I'm running these to the top two as tank controller suits. So what this is, as you can see, is it adds 5 on stamina, basic attack, and strike supers, but decreases 5 on key blast supers, which I did not want. So since we have both, I get, it adds 10 and decreases 10. And then this, it actually counters what the tank controller suit does. So actually, um, decreases the basic attack and strike troopers but gives back our key blasts so the only two attributes that will be getting boosts are the stamina which will be getting plus 10 and because of the force of dragon ball, uh, dragon ball costume we'll be getting plus 10 on our health as well but um what's it called the basic attack strike supers and key blast stay the same uh just running this just to match the outfit and um this is what i was running but since I've changed up my plan a bit, I'm actually going to be running uh, Piccolo Z Soul. You can run this if you're running Perfect Kamehameha. But um, there's one which is Piccolo's. Here it is. I'll make you a fine demon. The Z, Z Soul increases Piccolo related skill powers. And you're going to want to run this just because I'll show you my skills now. Alright, so for this, we're running All Clear. Let's you control your distance from a, uh, control your opponent from a distance. Super Drain gives you stamina. Solar Flare, you're gonna need this uh, just because when you're closing in on your enemy, he's gonna start teleporting a lot. So it really helps when, you, when you're able to predict his teleportations. Uh, 10 times Kamehameha, just a uh, fairly distance move. Or you could also run um, Crusher Ball, which is also very nice. Uh, I guess I'll just go with Crusher Ball for this video. Uh, Ultimate Attack Super Vegeta too, because it increases our key blasts. Unlike Super Saiyan, which just increases everything. Um, and then here, this one skill basically makes the entire build. Hellzone Grenade. What you can do is you can go Super Saiyan, I mean Super Vegeta, and you can use this quite a bit of times being able to control your opponent from a distance. What, uh, what that move does is it freezes your opponent, right? It's really OP. Freezes your opponent in their spot, fire, uh, you fire a bunch of key blasts around them, and then you close them in on them. You might remember it from the anime. And then Angry Shout, the best evasive in the game. So, um... Yeah, and as you can see, I have 95, so it, it does a lot of damage if you really think about it. So, yeah, guys, uh, let's hop into a, to test out this uh, build. Let's hop into an online game real quick, and I'll see you guys when I get into a lobby. Alright, finally was able to find a lobby against Black Flag A24. So, Saiyan Warrior, let's hope for the best. Oh yeah, and his name, Rishi, that's actually my name, but without the three E's at the end, just two E's, so swag, Ref Samurai, that's where I got that from. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to try to demonstrate uh, a lot, like how I can control enemies from a distance and how I can close in on them in this one battle, hopefully I can. Gogeta, I see. Oh, I love this map. Predict. I love predicting stuff like this. I should probably stop teleporting. Yeah, you can see how effective solo player is. Oh, oh, no, 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 he hit me with it. Ah. Uh. Oh. The Super Saiyan 4 means that you never run out of key or something? I'm not too sure because I haven't wished for it yet. So here, as you can see, Hellzone Grenade literally stopped him in his path. I'll try it again. Watch. See? Now watch the health bar. Yes! 
See that? Even though he was behind me, uh, the key blast just went behind me and actually hit him. See, again, while flying. So you can see how effective Hellzone Grenade is with this build. You have so much control over your enemy. And bam. So yeah, as you can see, you can also close in on him. I'll try to close in on him a bit more. Yeah, see, so like closing in on him is just as effective as controlling him from a distance. So yeah, this build is very versatile. Can go against a lot of different builds and different playing styles. Yet again, see? Come on, is this the end? Ah, he healed. What a waste, man. Nope, 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 nope. I ain't about it. Alright, now. How do I keep missing the Usain, uh, the infinite combo? I don't know why. Oh, no, no, no. Bam. Oh. I love using Crush Ah, uh, almost used the infinite combo. Read it. I uh, see, using Angry Shell, that's easy key and stamina right there. I mean, my bad key only. Give me your stamina, boy. Alright, rookie mistake. You saw that, right? Again, the key blast finish. So yeah, guys, that was a really fun game. I hope you guys actually try out this build, and hopefully, hopefully you guys have pretty good luck with it. So yeah, guys, I'll see you guys when I see you guys next time. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. So yeah guys, Rush Samurai here, signing out, peace.